One, two, three, four. A muse is something or someone that inspires you to do what you love. And I really feel like media arts has helped me um, pursue what I love um, and show it in a different and unique way. I really believe that the age between 16 and 17 is so critical in our life because at this moment really um, it's that whole like teen angst period in high school and it's like we know what we're going to do but at the same time we don't and so I believe that at this age is the part of our life where we really are like tuning into ourselves and our souls and knowing those things that spark our interests and that we love and makes us individuals. I think that this really helped them understand that it's important to do what you love in life, even if it's not your main focus, just to do it in some part of your life is important. Whenever someone's talking about what they love and you see that passion in their eyes and their smile and the way that they react to questions, it's just an awesome characteristic of being a human and just knowing that you have something in life that can drive you forward. Sixteen. <laughs> well, a couple weekends ago I went to Louder Than Life and saw some of my favorite bands of all time. I saw Slayer and Ghost and Anthrax and Slipknot. It was really cool because I was went with like my best friends and we just went and hung out for two days in Louisville. And... You want to hear a joke about pizza? Yep. Nah, it's too cheesy. I mean like everybody that I look up to started as a kid and just after high school they just didn't stop. They just kept hanging out with their friends and kept playing music, kept getting bigger and bigger and then, you know, they were touring the world. So, yeah, I mean, I guess if you stick with it what's realistic and what's, you know, convenient, you know, because, I mean, it's not going to be, like, smooth and perfect, you know, those guys in Metallica were living out of their cars and eating ramen and stealing stuff from gas stations and, you know, taking people's gas out of their cars because they couldn't, you know, live, but you just got to keep going through the tough times and, you know, it'll get better, but most people don't want to put up with all that, they just want to take the easy route, whether it makes them happy or not. Oh, well, my first concert, I was 12 years old, and I saw Kiss in Ohio, and I'd always liked Kiss, but it was just like a completely different experience seeing people play music, and it was just really cool and really made me want to play. Um, it's like the perfect outlet for anything. If you're really happy, playing the guitar is awesome. If you're really sad, playing the guitar is awesome. If you're really excited, playing the guitar is awesome. If you're really mad, playing the guitar is awesome. It's just always a really good outlet for any emotion you have. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a career, but I definitely see myself still playing guitar and still being in a band and still enjoying music, you know? I mean, I don't know if it'll definitely be my career, but I mean, it'll always be a hobby. Like when I started re reading Harry Potter, it was kind of like that transition of kind of like middle school type age, and I realized that because I used to be a very, very shy and very timid person, and like I was scared to do a lot of things, 
And I guess when I, I kind of just remember reading Harry Potter as I started to transition out of that a little bit more and start to think, well, someone's always not gonna like me or like what I'm doing or like my style or think, why is she wearing, why is she wearing purple lipstick kind of thing. So I was just kind of like, what's, what's the point? So I always kind of associate, I guess, me starting to grow a little bit more confidence with reading. Hopefully I'll be working in something that I actually want to do. Um, I mean, I can't tell you for sure what that's going to be. I mean, I want to be a journalist, but that could change. But I really hope that I still have my style. Like, I really do. Um, I mean, like, it's really important to me now, but I really hope that as I get older, that my style might change, but I'll still have it. You know, I don't want to... I don't know, I just don't want to fall into, like, this constant state of unoriginality. I want to be, I want to be me, and I hope that I continue to do that. I'll still have some different outfit that people are going to look at and be like, it's definitely her, and she's been like that since she was 16 years old. That has never changed. Sixteen. Oh, that was I mean, I love playing with my friends. I love being able to go out there and play for a decent team. Um, winning games, that's always fun, but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is definitely just being out there and being able to do pretty much whatever you can do to help your team. It's really just like the best feeling. When I'm in a game, just like, when I'm running down the ball or going in for like a really hard tackle, just like being able to like feel the moment. It just feels so amazing when like I come out with the ball. I keep on doing it because it's just something that like I've been doing since I was a kid and I've really enjoyed it. And just being out there with my friends really just make jokes all the time, just hang out with them. It's, it's a lot of fun. You know, I wouldn't mind being a soccer coach for like a team somewhere or something like that, but I mean just Really, I, I wouldn't mind doing anything that involves being outdoors because I really just do not like sitting at desks all day. I mean, definitely my two older sisters had a really big part in inspiring me because like they were there when I was starting out and they were just there to like kind of guide me on and help me through the game. And they're really my two biggest inspirations for the sport, honestly. It's really fun and I encourage anybody like anywhere to go out and play it because it, it can be a lot of fun if you enjoy doing it. I mean it sucks sometimes because you have to run a lot but I mean it's just a price to pay for it. And yeah. It's not a, it's not like a heavy price it's kind of fun. Some parents definitely do that but like my pr parents they don't pressure me to do anything so if I go out there and do it they're gonna make me stick to it for at least one year mm -hmm. but I mean they're not gonna pressure me to go and do something I don't want to do. <laughs> 16. And I feel like they can have so much influence, so much wisdom on your life more than a hobby to me personally can have on my life. My favorite memory with my dad has to be this last time we went to St. George Island. We go there a lot, but specifically this last time, we were driving down this bridge that like, connects two of the islands. It's like I got to like, stick my head out in the sunroof and with all these butterflies all around us, it was one of the, like my favorite memories ever. And specifically with my dad, like having him there and like just being able to be like, playful and like see that beautiful thing with him was so like, fun and nice for me. So my mom passed away when I was 12 which I think is a very transitional and like you're impacted really easily during that time. You know, you're going through all kinds of like different changes. And I think that especially young girls around that age need like a mom there in their life. So not having a mom and also losing my mom around that time, my dad really had to step up and be that figure for me, which that's not something easy for him to do. Like he doesn't understand girls as well as another girl would. And I'm sure he didn't really want to step up. And so him doing that and being there for me during that time, that transition time, and also the time after losing my mom, made me have so much more respect for him. And it made me just feel like he 
values me so much. And so like feeling, feeling that value that he had towards me made me feel even more towards him. And just like that, it's like a bonding experience I felt like to like be there with him as I was going through all these different emotions and like changes.